what is happening guys Martin Martin is back again you know where we are so let's get into it so guys I want to give a big thank you to the comments like subscriptions please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also put the notification bell on there as well so you can see when I put new videos please also do not forget to follow me on the Instagram we do get into a few discussions on the Instagram guys so by all means go and check that one out as well however as we get into a point now where it's becoming closer to the winter season, Christmas time, there seem to be a lot of discounts going on. So by all means guys, what I'd recommend if you're in the UK especially, go and check out Superdrug, go and check out Boots, and also I think Selfridges actually has like a 10% discount or 20% discount going on as well at this moment in time. So by all means, now is the time to go and get some of these fragrances, but you think to yourself, I'm not too sure on, or maybe the price point was a little bit too high, these are the times now to try and go and get it if you can. I know not everyone's in a position to do so, but for those that can, by all means, now's the time I'm gonna get that cheaply and go and get it at actually at a discounted price and actually serve you now for 2021. However, these are my most complimented um, fragrances I've purchased while they were discounted, um, not in any particular order, but at the same time, these fragrances can be quite expensive if you do buy them at full retail so just bear that in mind as well however touching base with you guys with the very first one no particular order as i say it's a bit of a dated fragrance came out quite a while ago now i would say but it's one of those fragrances which again every time i've worn it pretty much i usually get compliments i only wear this one in the winter time and it's one of those fragrances guys that is just a gourmand beast in my opinion and that is this one here Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully you can see with the information on the bottom if it zooms in this one is Armani Code Profumo This one guys, I mean, it's an expensive fragrance. However, which way you look at it This is an expensive fragrance and um, sometimes it's costing like nearly 70 pounds or so And I think this is only the 60 ml bottle, but for some reason This one just hits home every time. It's like it, it smells to me like one of these fragrances which again reminds me of some some type of like um, boozy sort of um, gourmandish type of fragrances. It's one of those ones that to me is distinct. You do get that Armani Code DNA, but this takes it slightly more, as I say, in a slightly more, again, beast mode performance, but it's definitely giving me something to work with in respect of this type of gourmand element. I've had so many compliments wearing this one. Um, I mean, key notes in this one seem to be like cardamom, and um, I believe there's some leather in there, some apple notes as, as well, some spice. Um, I want to even say grapefruit as well, or maybe even a touch of pepper. pepper. Maybe a touch of cinnamon as well, guys. This is a well blended fragrance. I think it's probably one of the best ones from the Armani Cold line. Um, it's got tonka bean in there as well, but it's not too sweet compared to some of the other releases that came out afterwards. And for me, guys, it may not be for everyone's cup of tea, but this is still a winner when it comes to winter. It's a winner when it comes to autumn. Fantastic fragrance, guys. Gets me compliments. And again, rejection time as well. If you can get this one on discount, you're looking at easily, I mean, for me, easily six to eight hours um, in respect of projection. And again, on skin or uh, well, on skin, but on clothes, it'll probably go for a good 12 hours for me personally. That's what I've noted. Um, performance is fantastic. Um, the blend is well, well made. And it's one of those fragrances, again, it's quite expensive for what it is, but if you get the discount, guys, go ahead and do it. By all means, because this is one which, again, I don't know why people seem to sleep on it. It's like it, it's like it didn't exist, but it's one that people talked about. It was a big hype, big bit of hype when it came out. And then it seems to be that people have sort of like died down and moved on. So in a way, yes, the fragrance community has maybe moved on from this fragrance, but it's still one of those fragrances that I would recommend that you go and check out if you can. I wouldn't pay for retail for it at this point because I think there's just too, many, too much out there. But at the same time, if you see something going, pick up a bargain, guys. No, no sweat about that one at all. Into the next fragrance, guys. And again, these aren't fragrances which are brand new. These are fragrances that you pick up on discount. And that's what I want to say. This one has given me so many compliments. It's a classic to me. Um, I will only buy this one probably on discount when I see it. And again, if I have the money to do so. It's one of those fragrances, guys, that I highly recommend if you've not tried it out before. And that is this one. As you can see, Victor and Ralph Spice Bomb. This one to me, guys, again, I mean, retail maybe looking around about for full, I think this is a 90 mil bottle. For some reason they seem to do it in these 90 mils rather than the 100 mil. Um, but for some reason, guys, this one always seems to come around at Christmas time, always seems to come around, yes, 90 mil, always seems to come around um, on some form of discount. Obviously, it's one of those fragrances you get a little sort of grenade as well um, with the cap and everything else with this, um, like a, a stamp of approval sort of thing. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, is one of those fragrances, again, um, pink pepper in there, grapefruit as well, believe it or not, 
I believe it's got some cinnamon note. It reminds me so much of Christmas and again, winter time. And when I've worn this one, guys, the dry down is fantastic. The unfortunate part about this particular fragrance is that it has been reformulated. It doesn't smell as um, potent or as strong as it wants to when it first came out. And I really don't understand why they tamper with these things and they actually reformulate the fragrances. But sometimes that's just how it goes. But nonetheless, guys, you're not going to get as much of a projection as you may have once got when you bought the original version. But for this one, guys, you're still getting a good, a good arm's length away, I would say. Easily, I think you're getting a good maybe five hours or so. Probably more so the dry down has come slightly closer to skin. But that pink pepper, that sort of spicy note, the cinnamon note is still there. And again, that's what I work with with this fragrance. I enjoy this fragrance. I mean, I, I don't spray this probably as much as I would have sprayed previously. Um, because I just enjoyed the, the blast that you get because it's died down a little bit more now it's one of those fragrances which in all honesty you gotta check it out and again get this one a discount I would probably try and say probably not spend more than about 50 pounds or so if you can get the 90 mil 50 to 60 pounds but usually if you're gonna spend that amount at this time of year you're probably gonna get like a bit of an over decant as well or some sort of gift pack Stay away from the shower gels, guys. I mean, I, I don't see the point in the shower gels for these type of fragrances. Try and get this one with an other decant, and I think you'll do pretty well. End up with probably around about 80, I don't know, 90 mil for this one, and probably another 20 mil decant, maybe. But by all means, guys, don't spend too much, but go and check this one out. And also, if you check this one out, guys, leave your comments down below and let me know. And on to the very final one, guys, just so we can move it forward. This is one of those fragrances which, to me, I've done a review on it before. I've talked about the EDP. This is the EDT, and this one still seems to re remains still to be one of the fragrances that I get the most compliments on for some reason between the two. And nonetheless, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for you. It speaks for itself. Blue de Chanel. This is one of those fragrances, guys. Again, I will probably just keep this one on deck. I don't wear it all the time, but when I draw for it, I know I'm gonna get those compliments. I've worn this one, guys, to the point where I've worn it. And again, this is the EDT version. Not everybody says, not everybody likes it. Maybe it's a little bit loud, maybe it's a little bit brash. You've got this grapefruit note in there as well. And I believe there's some bergamot and, and, and things going on. I mean, it's not like a fragrance that's not been reviewed before, but when it comes to discount time, guys, I believe you could even get 100 mil now for probably around 50 pounds, 55 pounds, especially at discount time, um, Christmas time. So by all means, guys, definitely go and check this one out. EDT, I'm talking about not the EDP. EDP seems to be a little bit more mature. EDP maybe be a little bit more well-rounded, more well-blended, but at the same time, it doesn't give the projection in the same way as the EDT. The EDT and the, how could I say, the compliments I get from the EDT, because it just seems to generate and give me more of a scent trail, I, I'm telling you, I've been studying this shop not even realizing that I even put this one on in the morning, and a lady was like, what does that smell? What does that smell? It smells so fantastic. And I was like, well, yeah, I know it smells fantastic because I'm the one that's wearing it. And it was this one here, and I got it on a discount. It didn't cost me that much. And because it didn't cost me that much, guys, I'm happy to be a little bit more liberal with the sprays. And that's what I say as well, guys. By all means, go and check this one out. This is not a fragrance to sleep on. People are telling you that all day long about, oh, well, you know, uh, this is boring, or everybody's done it before, like Dior Sauvage. But at the end of the day, there's a reason why people like the fragrance, and this is definitely one I would still recommend. EDP, again, it's got its own sort of genre, I would say, for people who are a little bit more into fragrances, um, but it's a little bit more expensive. And the, other, and the actual Parfum version, I believe, is a little bit too dry and doesn't really project at all. Um, but for this one, I would say EDT is still a staple. Definitely if it's on discount and definitely it's one of those ones you gotta check out in the stores guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Do not forget to comment, like and subscribe guys and see you soon. Ciao.